uh, there's a patch of land that I'm involved in, in Wales, and uh, it's a private patch of land, and um, people can are invited to come on the land and uh, get their hands dirty and and start building and growing and and uh, uh, producing, making transforming, which once was sheep grazed land barren grass land into a into a legendary piece of land where there's 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 wild meadow now and there's orchids grow on there and um, there's amazing little buildings on there and uh, and it's truly a place that's a patch of land where the nature as needs humanity for it to be beautiful because you get flash floods and they just pour down and so the land's been irrigated and uh, so you don't get any flash floods anymore and it's uh, it's, it's 12, ac you know, 12 acres of irrigated land that's quite it's a lot of digging um, and um, uh, there's a lake and <laughs> uh, we want to build a ziggurat which is just a stairway to heaven going all the way up and it's going to be embedded in the, uh, in the there's a small pine forest there and it's going to be going above the pine, the pine trees. You can look over and look over the stars. Um, yeah, and it's it's the infrastructure's obviously cost a bit of money, not much. It's more uh, hands-on, and uh, um, but but off, but now that's in place. It just needs people and good, um, you know. Uh, hard-working people that see the vision uh, and see that what it what it can what it can be and how it can grow and uh, and realize that their their input is an investment uh, into the land uh, and for them to spend their time up there we're making the land far more valuable with, with diversity of wildlife and nature and uh, got some poly tunnels on there you know and growing food there's a tree house, there's a classroom, 40 foot high classroom, it's a, it's a hexagonal structure with no central pin, it's completely open space, there's a drop down wall on the back of it, uh, so there's a, so there's a, you can have a stage in there or a presentation platform and uh, a drop down stage which drops into the pine forest so, so uh, whenever there's sort of a loud band or, or you know more jumpy, you know, like, you, you basically people go out and dance in the forest while the, the band sort of just turn around outside where the walls drop down and extending stage uh, is that there's a sort of veranda with a plunge pool outside it and and uh, yeah it's all it's just all you know it's just all built you know of people uh, mainly Eddie the, the, the guy there but I find that really inspiring and I want to I want to I learn so much about what land is, and I, I remember, you know, it's almost like remembering uh, kind of things we've forgotten. And it, the more I go up there, the more I come back to the city, and I just think it's just madness what we do here, and you know, what how we're not utilizing space in the most positive way. In Wales, we, we went out and stayed in this little log cabin, it's the sort of size of a big garden shed or something uh, and there's a little wood burner in there and we went out to Wales in January, me and him and uh, it was minus five and uh, we just we just went out and collected wood and just just kept warm and, and food and heat was was all that mattered and that's what we spent our time doing and he just had such an understanding of that I mean he, he, he so I gave him a little saw and he'd saw you know he'd saw his own wood I mean he, was, he only made a little dent in it but um, he knew what he was doing he knew that he's not gonna with a little hacksaw if you give him a hacksaw you say you can't give someone a hacksaw no child is gonna go but, you know they're not going to do that even if they just do that they're not gonna they're just going to get a scratch it's not it's not a dangerous tool for a child a hacksaw it is a hacksaw yeah where is your hacksaw 
That's your sore, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, I'm not managing to cook. I mean, it was really amazing being in Wales because he, 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 like he, he was went out. He went out playing with ice, and um, you know we were just smashing ice for fun, and, and then we ran out and ran across the lake, which was just you know like, we dropped a big boulder in there to see if it would crack, and it didn't, so it was fine to walk across, and. Um, you know, and we were, yeah, we were just going, he was going out and, and smashing ice as his little game. And, uh, and, and then he asked me what the difference b was between ice and glass. And I thought that's a good question for a, for a two-year-old. Um, and I just think that it's really good that he gets to play with the elements and, and, uh, and understands sort of the essentials of we need wood to, to keep warm. And he has an understanding of that, and I think that's all really good stuff. Should we keep warm? Do you want to put a do you want a t-shirt? No. I want to go to Eddie. You want to go to Mellowcroft? Yeah. All oh, right, Mellowcroft's in Wales. That's the place. <laughs> He looked at a tractor. He looked at a tractor. Him and his friends, but when yeah, they were there and they were, and then when Eddie you know, started his Eddie started the tractor, and they they were just like, and they just did not take their eyes off, and they just followed it along, just like, like it was Bob the Builder, real, real reality, you know. They like. <laughs> You know, the wheels are like this high, you know. <laughs> it was a beast. Did you like Eddie's tractor? Yeah. So we go to Eddie to the dog.